Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing so well. Today, I am gonna show you guys the makeup that I wore every single night when I was in Benidorm. So I got back from Benidorm yesterday. I went with Lucy Carter, Lucy Fly, and Imogen from Imagination. And we had the best time. We were there for four days with um, Public Desire and Ice Lolly Holidays. If you guys aren't following me on Instagram, then you won't know that. I posted loads and loads of pictures of what I was wearing and what we were doing. And don't worry, there is a bikini video coming up in this week, so fear not. Also, excuse my voice, I was quite unwell the whole trip. I went out with a really bad head cold. Oh, my lash is coming off. <laughs> I went out with a really bad head cold and on the flight, my ears stuffed up because of the cabin pressure and they still haven't unpopped. So we were supposed to go scuba diving and I couldn't because of my ears. So I was just kind of paddling around on the top with my little snorkel while the girls got to scuba dive. And I was, you guys know what I'm like with fish. I was absolutely devastated. Yeah, so I wasn't very well on the trip, but I ended up having an amazing, amazing time. My voice still hasn't come back to me, nor has my... Uh, full hearing so that's annoying overall amazing trip and I thought that I would just show you the makeup I wore every single night and I know that you guys are gonna be like another minimal like bronzy makeup look yes that that is what we're doing today but just before I went out I did a huge order on Space NK and I bought loads of new products that I wanted to try out so um, I took them all away with me and had a play with them and I'm really excited to talk to you about some of them because they are definitely some of my new favourites. Stunning, stunning products and I loved how the makeup looked and you guys have been so lovely, so, 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 so lovely, thank you. Like in all the comments and stuff on my Instagram um, so thank you so much. As always, if you aren't following me on Instagram, it's linked down below. Make sure you do because it's definitely like my favourite platform ever. I love my Instagram so much. If you are bored of neutral looks, fear not, there are lots of colourful looks coming up very very soon and that's all I'm gonna say. Sound off down below and guess why there's gonna be lots of colourful looks down below. Guess, just guess. Anyway, I've been rambling enough. I'm gonna go. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy this look. Comment down below what you think. Give this video a thumbs up if you do enjoy it and subscribe if you are new and let's get on with the makeup. I've got sunglasses just to hold my um, hair back off of my face. I'm excited to do this makeup. Just ignore my voice. <laughs> I I lost my voice like on the first day that we got to Benidorm. I am still quite sick, so we're just gonna ignore my voice. I think it sounds a little bit sexy, personally, but if it annoys you, I'm sorry. To save a bit of time, I've already put on my Kiehl's Daily Reviving Concentrate. It would not be an Emma's Rectangle makeup tutorial if I didn't apply my By Terry Cellular Rose Brightening CC Serum and my Neeld Photography Fluid. If you guys know a dupe for the By Terry, then please comment it down below and I would love to know it so that I can recommend it to you guys. I found things that are kind of similar but just aren't close but no cigar, you know? On the days where we just like went out on the jet skis or whatever, I would just put this on as my foundation. Obviously it's not actually foundation, but as my like base, I would just put this on because it just adds a bit of colour, a little bit of a glow, it makes me look a little bit more awake rather than just going completely bare face. Not that I mind going completely bare face, but you know, we were taking pictures and stuff. So I wanted a little bit of something, something. Then going in with the Neod, I just bought a new one. So this is probably one of my last uses from this um, bottle. It was like 25-ish degrees um, out in Spain when we were there. Um, so it was warm, it wasn't crazy hot or anything, but my base lasted absolutely amazingly all day. Um, when it got to dinner time, all I had to do was touch up. I didn't, I took off and redid just because I didn't want SPF at night because of photos. But I could have just gone put on a little bit extra concealer and a little bit of powder and just gone on for the night. If I uh, really was short for time. The star of the show for me was the Hourglass Vanish Foundation. This is the shade Golden Natural. I've been wanting to try this 
for ages. I'm in love with this foundation. I wore it every single night in Benidorm and the first, I just tested it out, I trusted it. Going out for the evening, going out for dinner, I was like, I'm just gonna try it and see how it looks and oh my gosh, I'm in love with it. So this color is amazing for me at the moment with my tan. So I just kind of do four stripes on each cheek, on the chin, a couple on the nose, and then a couple on the forehead. And then I go back with more if I need it. It's a really good, high coverage, creamy, makes my skin look buttery smooth. And I actually used a Zoeva 102 silk finish brush to buff this in. It was so quick. Like honestly, like the quickest foundation application ever because you just draw it on and buff. This photographs beautifully. And like I said, this lasted all night. Another new product that I have fallen in love with is this Becca um, Under Eye Brightening Corrector. This is the little baby one. This is the light shade. I love this. All the girls tried it and they all want to buy it because it is perfect. So when you put it on, it's like a super bright, light pinky color. So I just put this right where my bags are and it just cancels out all my darkness, all the bluey purple tones under my eyes and it almost looks iridescent and just brightens the area so nicely. I took three shades of tape, tape shape? Shape tape. <laughs> you don't need three, but I use three different colours. I used the shade Tan Sand just to add more coverage anywhere where I need it, so blemishes, things like that. Luckily, just before the trip, my skin kind of sorted itself out. I was having quite a lot of breakouts just before I went and I was a bit worried that it wasn't gonna look better for the trip because obviously we were wearing minimal makeup because we were on the beach, but it kind of sorted itself out. So that was good. And then I take the shade medium um, and I kind of mix those two shades together. Medium's a bit light, but tan sand's a little bit orangey. So I use a bit of medium kind of in the center of my face and then I use light medium under my eyes. My friend Liz went and picked up a new one of this because if you remember in my video my light medium was completely empty and I've got a new one. I also bought myself a new beauty blender and I got the black one and I don't know whether it's just me but this is so much better than the pink one. It doesn't absorb as much product in my opinion. Um, so if you guys have tried the black one do you prefer it or is it just me being weird? And it just blends it in so nicely. Maybe it's because it's black, I can see the product and it looks more like it's just sat on top. Who knows? But anyway, I just blend this under my eye and I put this just over my lid as well. I then finally just took my Radiant Creamy to highlight my nose. And then I am using a old favorite. This is the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Look at the little I guys, I'm not being funny. Throughout this video, you're gonna see so many mini travel sizes of makeup and you're gonna die. I did a massive um Space NK order the other day and bought myself loads of new makeup to play with. I bought loads of travel sizes because I always pack too much makeup, so I feel like if I take minis, it's not as obvious how much I've packed. <laughs> So I'm gonna take a little bit of this. Now I don't like this anymore when I'm pale because they've changed the formula and it's much too yellow now. It's no longer actually translucent. It adds a little bit of like a yellow cast. But when I'm tan, it looks really nice. The only eyeshadow palette I took was my Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam and I used three shades three colors and I got so many compliments on this look but this is my go-to look when I'm in a rush or when I'm not in a rush I just love it's a really really simple simple look so I start with orange soda as my transition some of you guys are gonna be like this is the most boring look in the entire world you do the same thing all the time but trust me you guys there is uh, some fun looks coming coming your way next in the next amount of time soon Definitely, definitely may not already be a new weekly series coming for you. Blendy Wendy, Blendy Wendy. And I take this all the way up. As you can see, my favorite color on the palette, I go in with the shade Burnt Orange and I do the exact same thing. 
I love this look because it's natural tones, like neutral colours nothing dark like all the color all the eyeshadows are pretty light it just adds a really lovely bit of definition to your eyes and warms them up you see how quickly i'm just throwing this on just throwing it on and then i take sienna and this is going right in the outer corner of the eye and like halfway through the crease so you can see I've got a warm wash of colour over the lid. It's adding a little bit of depth and definition to my eyes, but I'm keeping the lid completely blank. So just concealer and setting powder. And then I'm not adding any fresh product to my brush. And I'm just running it under my eye. I literally kept it like that on the eye. I'm just going to put some glue on my lashes. The same, I'm wearing the same lashes that I wore for the whole trip. These are the Lily Lashes in the shade shade these are the lily lashes in miami i love these i feel like they're just big enough to carry the whole look i'm just popping the glue on the glue i actually use is the salon system natural lash strip lash adhesive i used to buy this when i worked at sally's um and it's fine it does the job but i definitely i have my duo somewhere so while that dries i'm just going to curl my lashes quick i'm going to use my benefit bad gal bang and i just you know did like a nice healthy coat of this on the top you don't need loads because you are going to put lashes on the bigger you can get your real lashes the bigger your falsies are going to look and then i did loads on my lower lashes i really built them up because the top lashes are so chunky you want nice thick bottom lashes okay i just put my lashes on they're big they are big if you're not into big lashes go for something a bit smaller right i'm gonna set my nose because i'm gonna do my nose contour now during the day i use this this is the pure cosmetics four in one press minimal makeup this has spf 15 in it um so i didn't use it in the evenings because i didn't want to risk any flashback but i used the shade tan and i really really like this powder it's new to me i'm quickly gonna put on a little bit of my charlotte tilbury just to make sure my nose contour goes on, you know, smooth. And I've actually changed the brush. I've been using one of these Zoeva 228s to contour my nose recently. And I find it much quicker because it's much a lighter hand. Rather than it going on heavy and blending it out, I just apply it slower. Oh, I just hit pan on my hula. Luckily, I have two spare hulas in my drawer. <laughs> but I just do my nose contour. And I also like this brush because it is tapered at the tip. So you can do a nice fine line with the tip of it. And then these shorter bristles around the edge blend it out. So I've got a new bronzer that I love. This is the Elsie bronzer in the shade Tan. I picked this up off of Beauty Bay. And it's beautiful it is so intense so these are my three go-to bronzers the LC one is kind of an in-between of my give me sun and um, saddle from Anastasia a little bit more red and darker than the give me sun but a little bit more warm and lighter than saddle so it just kind of depends what look I'm going for but I was using this lots and lots and lots so the first thing i did was take this massive brush it's so soft and it's from masked and i just started by bronzing my face and with this i'm going like where the sun would hit my face so the tops of the cheeks and it's super duper pigmented so literally one tap is enough do you see this? It's just, it matches my body really well. So this is why I said don't worry about the foundation being a little bit yellow. Because the bronzer brings it together. And then I just blend it to the side of the nose. And this just helps as well with my nose contour. Just blends it in slightly. And then I go in with a Zoeva Luxe Cheek Finish Brush. And the same bronzer. And I wore a lot a lot of bronzer on this trip just at the back of the cheek also a little bit more around the top of the forehead and then i went in with my anastasia because it's a bit cooler and a bit darker and i just contoured with that 
As my blush, I actually tried something quite different for me. This is the Ofra blush in the shade Raisin, and it is, oh, if I can open it, and it's very dark. It's like a terracotta. So I just take the tiniest bit, tap it off on my hand, and take quite a fluffy brush, and I just applied this to the lower portion of my cheek and blended it into my contour. And what this did was added even more definition, but also just warmed up my skin, gave me a bit of color. I didn't bring it up here because it's too dark. I just applied it mostly above the contour and pulled it up softly. And it just added a beautiful kind of natural, it's a red, kind of a ready based blush. So it adds like a natural flush to the cheek. It's beautiful, I really, really like this blush. I also use this mini Hourglass Ambient Lighting Bronzer in Luminous Bronze Light. This is actually the bronzer that's in my palette, but I don't like to travel with the whole palette because I don't need all those colors. So I just bought it on its own in a mini size for travel, because if it's at home, then I'll just use the palette. I love this bronzer. So I just apply this, because it's quite a light bronzer on me. I apply it just kind of over the whole cheek. It's got a beautiful sheen to it. It helps to blend in that blush because it's lighter than the blush. Oh, it's beautiful. Okay, right, we're making moves, we're nearly there. I'm just going back in with my Laura Mercier powder and because this look was primarily for taking pictures, I wanted to, oh, my hair's in the way. I wanted to make sure that my contour was uh, dare I say, snatched. I like my cheekbones to look really defined. It slims my face. So what I do is I apply the most amount of powder right under the contour, so it's really sharp. But then the excess, I pat here to make sure it blends seamlessly. I took so many highlights with me and the one that I used varied a lot. The one I reached for the most was definitely my Doll Beauty in Shine Bright the um, bronzy one here. I also used Gilded Honey a lot. I also used Opal a lot, but look at all of these minis, you guys. Te oh, teeny products. My mini Becca Brightening, my mini Hourglass, my mini Opal, my mini Laura Mercier, and I also took this mini Tarte blush. I just love mini things. They just make me so happy. <laughs> I'm just gonna brush this away. I don't let it sit for very long. I'm just gonna spritz my face with my MAC Fix Plus. It's locked. To highlight, let's go back with my old faithful, my Becca Opal. Look how small it is. <laughs> it's so cute. Just gonna whack this on my cheekbone. Oh, it's so beautiful. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. I love highlighting my forehead. My temple, anything. I highlight absolutely everything. Cupid's bow, inner corner, brow bone, all those high points. And then I went for a super light, warm nude. So I started with my Morphe Bite Me, which I talk about every single video. I love it. And I mixed two lipsticks together. The first one is Driver from Maybelline and then Dose of Colors Sand on top. And then finally, I did do freckles basically every day. So I'm going to use my Anastasia. And going to put my freckles on. All right, loves, here we go. All done. Bish, bash, bosh. I mean, I say I managed to do it quickly. I never do my makeup quickly, ever. I was getting ready with Imogen and Lucy and they were like, I would start before them. They would do like full pink eyeshadow smoky eye and I would finish after them. I think Lucy did a cut crease one night and I did this look and it still took me longer. I don't know why. I don't know how I do it but I managed to take as long as physically possible to do my makeup. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this look. When you do it quickly it is a really quick and easy look to do. I just ramble. Thank you so much for watching. Um, follow me on Instagram, it is linked down below. Also, subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. My videos often don't show up in subscription boxes, so by giving it a thumbs up, it just means that you guys see my videos more often. So yeah, thank you so, so much, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.